What's up guys, how y'all doing today? So today where we're gonna go is Envigado again. We're going to this neighborhood in Envigado that's called um, El Dorado and uh, La Paz, I believe, those two. We're gonna try to do those two today. If only we do one, we'll do one. But my friend told me that uh, those two neighborhoods in Envigado, El Dorado and La Paz are some of the flattest, cheapest, and most liv livable parts of Envigado that there is. So let's go together. Let's go check it out in video, a walk and talk tour. Let's go. Stay tuned. All right, guys, to get to Envigado, we need to go to La Estrella. Not the Kia, La Estrella. And we're coming from Exposiciones. I'll show you that when I get up there. Let's go. And this is the station we're going from, Exposiciones. I'm gonna walk all the way down the platform to get on the last train. That's the best train to get on when you go into Envigado. Stay tuned. Guys, so coming out of the, the train, going coming from Centro towards Envigado, you wanna go left. You wanna go left this way. So you walk this way out, and then when we get out the exit, you go right. You go right to that bridge over there. And that's how you get to where we're going to. So I'm gonna come back to y'all when I'm back in the street. All right, stay tuned. Guys, so we exit from the right, right here. And we're walking down this bridge. And when we get to the bridge, we're gonna go to our left. All right, we're gonna go to our left and then to our right. And walking straight, and it's gonna get straight to um, the main park in Vigal. When we get to the main park in Vigal, we're gonna turn right and walk towards the right and we're gonna get to those neighbors we wanna go to. So y'all stay tuned, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be real nice. I'm telling you guys, y'all might not think this is hard, but it's pretty hard, I walk. Like I've always told you guys, about 15 to 25,000 steps when I do these videos. So I bought me one of these Viva Cien. I'm not sponsored, <laughs> they're not paying me. If anybody from this company sees this, look, shout out to David, I'll, I'll, I'll sponsor you guys. Or you guys sponsor me or whatever. But it's an energy drink here in Colombia, Viva Cien. It cost me 1,500 pesos, so it's super cheap. It's a lot cheaper than um, Red Bull, for example. And it's just as good, it gets me hyped up. So I'm gonna drink one of these so I can uh, walk those 20,000 steps for you guys and show you around the neighborhood, yeah. So up these stairs here, that's how you get to um, Viva and Vigado. Viva and Vigado is one of the biggest malls in Latin America or in Colombia. I'm not quite sure which one, but today we're not going there. We're walking around these uh, escalators. There's all the buses. And we're gonna go to the right, this way. So stay tuned. I wanna drink my Viva Cien. Anybody from the company that sees this video, shout out to me. I'll take y'all sponsorship. Let's go. All right, guys, finished with the Viva Cien. I feel hyped up. Right now we're on Calle 37 South and we need to go straight. So I need to cross this street here and I need to go straight down that way in order to get to the park. It's really easy to get to the park. And remember, all I did was walk down the street for the metro <coughs> and uh, I'm going to cross the street over here. So let's do it. And this will be the hardest part of the walk because coming from the metro, it's about, hmm, maybe a five to 10 minute hike up this uh, steady climb, incline, but it's beautiful here. I've already shown this part in my other video in Vigal, but just for you guys who haven't seen that video, you can see this part right here. But uh, in my other video I did in Vigal, I walked on this side of Vigal, on the left side. Today I'm gonna go walk on the right side. So I like in Vigal. It's a really nice area. People who live here are super nice. And it's quite popular amongst the foreigners uh, as well. So let's go check out together. I'm gonna go up this hike, then I'm gonna turn right, and then it's gonna be all plain. It's gonna be more plain, so I want to huff and puff up the mountain, up this hill with this mask on, you know what I mean? So let's go. The main street here, I've still been walking straight, but we've come to this, this cross section called 43B. I'm sorry, Carrera 43A. We just need to keep going straight. Just keep going straight, and we'll get to the park. All right, guys, so now we're coming to the park. To, again, walking straight from here, coming down. And it's the park right here. I already showed the park in my other video in Vigal. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out. It's a good video. But now what I'm gonna do is you see right here, this house is here. And there's the park right here. I'm going to my right, facing the church. I'm gonna go to my right and go towards uh, El Dorado. That's the first place we're gonna go to. So let's carry on. 
the church here the church here in uh in Vigala is beautiful it's beautiful and i wish i've already showed before closer up so again if you haven't seen my other video check it out but now we're gonna walk straight that way i'm gonna come back to y'all when we get close to that neighborhood because i've already shown this area so y'all stay tuned and also if i see places that, that are for rent or for sale that looks interesting to me or for, i think it might be for you guys i'm gonna call and uh, get prices because i'm actually looking for a place to rent as well i'm getting tired of my apartment i want to move to a bigger location so there we go so here we go so stay tuned all right guys so i was walking from this street here actually and i took a left a short left i want to take a right on this street and i think that's carrera 42 i want to double check i'll double check for you guys we're going to take a left on carrera 42 and then enter the neighborhood check out this house right here very nice Not sure if you can see it, but it's Carrera 42. I took a right on Carrera 42. I'm gonna walk straight. Go check out Invigal. Guys, check out the church from this angle. It's so beautiful. Huh. A lot of people ride motorcycles here in Colombia. So many people. Looks like they're building new construction here. I'm thinking those are apartments. Not sure. A lot of new development, new apartments coming up. Comment below. Let me know in the comments if, if any of you guys are interested in buying um, apartments brand new, like with new development like this. And if you guys need any help getting that stuff situated. Because there's so many options out here. So many options right now. They're popping up like crazy. I've never been in this area before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to intertwine around the area. And it's going to be... I think I don't know what the heck this is. Looks like a uh, little go-kart go racing thing. I have no idea, but it looks pretty cool. For kids though. Maybe for big kids, who knows. <laughs> uh, again, I've never been in this neighborhood, never walked around, so I'm gonna get lost with you guys. First, I'm gonna, I'm gonna intertwine the streets. Whatever I see that's interesting, I'll turn the camera on, I'll show y'all. Uh, I'm probably gonna mix it up with, like I said, El Dorado and La Paz, because they're right next to each other. So let's see how much I can get done today. Right now it's, 3.30 and usually here in Colombia Medellin it gets dark around 6 o'clock or so so I got about two and a half hours to to walk around for you guys tell me what y'all think about this area it seems pretty nice I like the trees I like the vegetation looks like they got a mixture of uh, this kind of apartments here so not very luxurious and modern but, but nice enough and then they got the small houses the traditional houses here so you got a good little mix here and like i said here it's a nice little apartment over there too and this is really close to the um the main park in the church so you're not that far from the uh from the metro station and you're not very far oh there's a saint right there i wanted to go this way to the gym and you're not far from the um the church and it looks like, like my friend said it's a, it's a very flat area so like for example this girl's riding a bicycle getting around which is good because in other parts of Vigal, like you guys who have uh, been here know that that it's super hilly. All right, guys, I'm gonna do a couple, some pull-ups and stuff and I'll, get, I'm gonna come back right with y'all and then keep walking, yeah? Stay tuned. I'm so weak, I lost my, uh, my strength again. Being this uh, forced lockdown again. Oh, well, you can always get it back. Just gotta get back in the routine. Oh, well, let's go walk around. That's more important right now than getting my workout in because it's late. I need to show you guys around the neighborhood, so let's do it. We're on Calle 40 C Sur and Carrera 42. So, pinpoint me. Check out that old house in the corner. That's prime real estate right there. And it's a pretty house too. Huh. Looks like they have a lot of businesses on this road. A lot of small little restaurants here, burger joint. So I'm pretty sure back in normal times, this was really happening here some classy stuff like like uh gourmet kind of stuff i think Invigao has become very popular with foreigners and it's kind of a hip place to be so i can see this area having like really nice hip uh cafes and restaurants with good quality stuff actually my friend told me she lives i think over there like close to the metro and she told me about this one burger joint that she's 
absolutely in love with. And I asked her, I said, is it, is it a typical Colombian burger where like the meat's super thin? She's like, no, 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 they do their own meat, it's super thick, they make their own buns, that kind of stuff. So maybe in the future, I'll invite her, we'll go eat the burger together, get my opinion, also get her opinion as a Colombian. But Shuri loves it. Shuri says she's, oh my God, it's noisy here. One thing I'm noticing is that this is a, looks like it's a through, a through way for buses and it's noisy in the street. That's one negative. Unless you guys like the noise. Oh, I like that little house over there. It's real nice. Um, what was I saying? So my friend, she already loves the burgers. I haven't tried it, so maybe we'll go in the future. I'll give my opinion. You guys know I give good, good reviews. I don't lie. So check out that building. Super nice. I don't lie about my reviews, man. I'm very particular about the food. So yeah, we'll do it. Very noisy in the street. Let's see the other, we'll go inside the neighborhood and see if it's as noisy. Guys, looks like a soccer field or football, wherever you come from, that's from Inder. I remember I told you about Inder. That's the organization that, that does the sports all around the city. So look how nice it is, it's open to the public. They play games, that kind of stuff. To, you know, give people another option. Sports is always a good option. Let's carry on. I saw a little lady, a grandma, walking by with her grandkid or whatever, and she had a t-shirt that said, uh, right here, fake news. That's hilarious. I wonder if she understood what that means, if she knows what it says. But I wanted to do a, a, a picture of her, but it was right across her chest. That would have been real creepy and weird. But uh, I found that kind of funny fake news right here, walk in the middle of Colombia. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, guys, we're continuing. We're gonna go circle around this way, around this thing, and go into more into the neighborhood see what we find because right here going straight we'll be going to La Paz so I'm thinking I'm gonna do some, first El Dorado and then jump over to La Paz I'll make my decision in a second at this moment I'm at calle 44 Sur crossing Carrera 41B and walking along this football field or soccer field so I'm gonna stay I'm gonna stay in El Dorado and walk that area so y'all can see and then afterwards I'll go to La Paz and if the video goes too long, I'll cut it into two videos. But I personally like long videos and I think a lot of you guys do as well. So we'll see what happens. That's entering right there. That's entering to La Paz. So we're actually literally walking on the border, more or less. It turns into Carrera 41. So that it just circles around and I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna zigzag around the neighborhood. Let me know if you guys enjoy this and what do y'all think about this neighborhood? Comment below. Ask me any questions in the comments. Uh. I love this lady's garden. It's beautiful. Buenas. Hola, como estas? Bien, gracias. Nice. The neighborhood has these small little stores that pretty much have pretty much everything almost everything you need so that's a good thing about here just a small simple not simple but more traditional neighborhood it hasn't become a lot of high rises here so if you guys are looking for something like that i would say living here i get the feeling i get the vibe you can make friends like your neighbors real easy here you don't get to know the neighbors it's nice, I like it. I like it very much. And there's a ter terrace up there, big old porch up top. Beautiful. I mentioned to you guys before about here in Medellin, Colombia, especially the city of Medellin, they take teeth very seriously. Check it out. There's a dentist a place everywhere. You can find dentist offices everywhere. That's probably like one of the most common professions i don't know anybody who's colombian watching this let me know if, if being a dentist is one of the most common professions like how being a lawyer is you know kind of like <laughs> y'all let me know oh i like this color green and brown pretty so oh another bus i was about to say here it seems like there's less noise looks like a bus goes through here as well that tiny house right there real nice 
I don't know. I guess I could live here. I don't mind the noise, to tell you the truth. I don't mind the noise at all. Actually, I like it. it helps me sleep better. Hmm. So we'll keep walking and see if other parts of the neighborhood becomes uh, less noisy. But I'm liking it. I'm liking this area. I like that it's kind of tightly packed. Yeah, it looks like a lot of people are walking the streets. Where I live, not many people walk in the streets. Like some people do, but not many. And this is quarantine. We're in, we're in quarantine times and there's still people in the streets walking around. So to me, that's a good sign. I like that. I don't want to live in a place where it's the streets are totally empty. The sidewalks are totally empty. And it's like being back in the States again for me, you know, well, oh, like in the, where I'm from, Houston, Texas, the suburbs, Oy. suburbs of Houston. That's depressing because nobody's in the streets, man. Not even children. When I was a kid growing up in summertime, everybody was in the streets, man. We would have soccer games, uh, football games, everything block out the cul-de-sac and, and the yards all the time. Now, when I went back last year to visit my family in the summertime, all the streets were empty. It was almost a ghost town. But the funny thing is, the population of children increased more than what were there when I was a child. So, I don't know. It's just weird. Things have changed a lot, you know? Like Car Carrera 41 with Calle 40 D South, Sur. Man, I really like these streets, guys. I love these, uh, the trees. What I, what I heard about Envigado is that it rains here more. It rains in Miguel more. I'm not 100% sure because I've never lived over here. Any of anybody who's lived in this area, let me know. Does it rain more? Is it colder than other parts of Medellin? Because that's what I hear. But I may, may have heard wrong. I may have heard and then forgotten and interpreted wrong. So you guys let me know. And now we're taking a ride on Calle 40 B Sur, South. And look at this trees with the flowers and everything. I'm really liking this area. It seems to me like a real small, quaint area, a little quaint neighborhood. Nice. It's not, this is not like the typical, well, I don't know most of Envigao, but it's not, definitely not like Poblao. It's more traditional, more kind of quaint, I guess the best word is. Hmm. Tell me what y'all think. I mean, it's good real good but I'm not seeing many signs for rent so that, that was that was that say that might be a very coveted area where a lot of people want to live so that's why when things go for rent they go pretty quick that's where I was on Calle 40 B South I saw this park over here and I wanted to come check it out so I'm gonna cross over here and check out <laughs> cross over here and check out this park see what it's about because you know me you guys know me i love parks i love exercise areas so looks like it's blocked off but it looks like they got a, a running track here a walking track whatever you want to call it gotta watch out for the poop i'm always every single time i'm with you guys videoing i step in freaking poop but it looks very nice huh they got it blocked off can't work out but all these uh things here got the pull-up bars yeah, the monkey bars. Nice. Very cool. And a cool place for the kids to come. So it looks like a lot of kids come here to play with the dogs and everything. So it's off the streets, away from the cars. So anybody who has family, you guys have family and need a place with, to bring the dogs. Here's the dog park right here. Hold on. Looks like a dog park over here where they have little trick things. That's so cool. Check them out. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. So you got the dog park, you got the kids park, you got the exercise area. And it's right here by El Dorado where I was walking. So that's another plus, man. I'm seeing pluses here. The only negative I'm seeing in the past was uh, the noise with the buses going through. But if you can handle the noise, which I can, I actually like the noise, like I said, then uh, it might be a nice place to live. Hmm. If that is up there, it's just a studio apartment with a huge balcony. That is, that's my type of place. All I need is a studio apartment with enough room for a bed and kitchen, small kitchen. And they give me a massive balcony like that and I'm happy, man. 
I'm very happy. <laughs> I see. Tell me what you guys think about this area. Comment below. Huh. I would say, I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert in this in real estate. But what I would say is uh, this area, if you can find a deal, like I buy a house, if you can find a house that's a, that the owner needs to sell desperately for some reason, and you purchase it, you're standing on prime real estate, man, because I can see as this place, the next place where they tear down houses and make the big uh, high rises, for sure, for sure. So this might, you might want to research more into this area about this, about opportunities. Now here in Colombia, opportunities don't happen very often. A lot of people sit on their properties because they usually paid off the cash so they can sit on it. But if, you know, desperate measures, desperate situations happen, which always happens, you guys might get lucky, so you never know. Nice huge house, this is a massive house right here. This whole corner, all the way there to here. Wow. Let's see, let's check it out. Carrera 40A with Calle 40 DD South. It's not for sale, but you see how big houses are here. Jeez. Got the neighborhood uh, tiny soccer field. They don't have any basketball goals for some reason. But people, I guess, do pickup games right here. I tried one time to play the, the small soccer field. Like, I don't know what it's called, speed soccer or whatever. It scared the crap out of me, man, because those balls are tiny, but they're hard. And uh, they kick super. Those guys can, man, send those balls flying. Those soccer balls or footballs, whatever you want to call them. No, man, I'm good. I'm good about that. I never played soccer growing up, so I don't know how to play very well. All right. Oh, look, a telephone. A telephone booth. When's the last time you guys seen one of those in the States? Those, that's like a relic right there. See, those are antique stores now. Huh. Nice houses. I've actually come across some um, YouTube videos of people, like old VHS videos that people made in the past, like back in the 80s or whatever. And they're now uploading into YouTube. And some of them I've seen were super cool because they were showing uh, that, because that reminded me of New York for whatever reason, that, the phone booth reminded me of New York. And those old VHS videos that they upload in, on YouTube, is showing New York back in the 70s and 80s, man. And I don't know if you guys watching, if you guys lived in New York back in the 70s, 80s, it was intense. Talk about danger. I didn't live there, I never went there, but I can tell you what, it looked dangerous to me. Whew, shit. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about New York back in the 80s and 70s. Huh. I think compared to that, what I saw in those videos and this, what I'm seeing right now, it's much safer here. Much safer here. Actually, to tell you the truth, Envigal is known as one of the safest neighborhoods in Medellin. So if you're looking for safety, you can't get any safer than here in the city. In the city. I want to walk this way. One ass. Whoever's watching who's Colombian, let us know in the comments if that's true what I said. If Envigal is known as one of the safer cities or safer neighborhoods in the city me walking with the right now with my spidey sense i feel very safe I, I don't feel any danger i'm not i don't know if you guys know this, i'm not looking over my shoulder all the time so my spidey sense is saying that it's super safe here i might be totally wrong and maybe my street my street sense is like faulty right now <laughs> beautiful i like it here Check it out guys, always fruit trees around Medellin. I'm thinking that's an orange tree or a lime tree. I'm not sure, but that's super cool. All right guys, let's go check it out. I'm walking back, I got me a drink, I was thirsty. But I'm gonna walk back to that street and we're gonna walk more zigzagging around this neighborhood so y'all can see. <sighs> Good.
good people so far. And you're always smelling the baked goods, man. Ah, so much temptation around here. <laughs> so much temptation. There's always fresh baked uh, bread and everything every day. I know some of you guys love uh, having all the green and the flowers everywhere. This neighborhood looks like they do really well with that. Really well. And yo, Envigado Limpio. We keep it clean here. That's what it says. All right, so now we're getting to more buildings. We're leaving the small, the houses. And we're getting to more buildings over here. So it looks like these, again, obviously, here was all houses like that and then they tore it down and made these buildings so who knows maybe in the future all that back there is going to turn into this tell me what you guys think about the difference this versus what we walked through over there i prefer over there i prefer over there because here it looks like they tore down everything they tore down the trees too a lot of vegetation hmm all right, let's continue. Oh, it's going to start raining. So like I said before, here in Vigal, I think it rains more than other, than other parts of uh, of Medellin. If you want to live in areas where the area where it rains the least, that would be Bejo. Bejo rains the least in all the city, in all the valley of West. All right. I'm not seeing anything for rent at all. Again, it must be really coveted here. Because in other parts of the city, you guys seen, if you guys see my other videos, my other walk and talk tours, there's a lot of places for rent in other parts of the city. And here, I'm not seeing anything. Hmm. People, again, look at me like I'm crazy when I, when I film and talk to the camera. <laughs> look at me like I'm crazy. Why not? But it means no harm. It means no harm, they're just very curious people. Colombians tend to be very curious, you know. But you say hello to them, they'll say hello back with a smile. All right. They're building a new building there. What nice. So yeah. Yeah, they tore down the house to make one of these probably, or maybe even one of these is nicer, newer. I hope I can make through this tour without being poured on. If it starts raining, I gotta find shelter and wait it out. So let me know in the comments, guys. I don't know if you noticed, but I've been putting the camera less on me, like this, because in the past I would talk to I, I would talk to the camera and look at you guys more. And this time, what I'm doing is I'm doing this. I'm showing you guys the area and I'm talking right here. So let me know in the comments which one you guys prefer better. Do you prefer looking at my beautiful face while I talk? I'm just kidding. Or do you prefer me showing the area and talking behind the scenes? So it's almost kind of like a voiceover, but uh, David style voiceover that's very non-technical. Really all it is is me talking behind the camera. So it seems like I'm very technical. Let me know in the comments. I'm always trying to improve for you guys. I had a few people complain or not complain, they didn't really complain, they gave suggestions. I had a few uh, positive critiques or whatever you want to call it. And I always take those to heart and I try to improve. Let's over against the border here. A lot of greenery over here. I like this house, it's kind of different. Check out this house with this window. It's like a half moon window. That's very different. I don't know if any of you guys are, are well, Marco's architect. Let me know in the comments if any of you guys know if they have a homeowners homeowner society here, homeowners administration, whatever it's called, I forget what it's called in the States. Let me know in the comments if that's something over here in, in Colombia. If in order to build your house and do like kind of different things on your, on your house, do you have to get approval by the homeowners association of the neighborhood? I have no idea. I don't know this. It would be very interesting to know. So we're coming to the border over here. Yeah, it'll be very interesting to know if you have to go through um, a homeowner's association to get approved. Because, like, for example, I'm seeing a lot of options on build on where they des how they design their houses that wouldn't pass in an American neighborhood. Like, in an American neighborhood, you have to get everything approved. 
which it could be good it can be great actually because it keeps the the value of the input high but also it could be annoying as well <laughs> which one do you guys prefer do you guys prefer living in a neighborhood where everybody's free to do whatever they want or where it's more controlled carrera 40 with ka 44b south let me know what y'all think in that comments it's like here is actually very uniform it looks like it must have been a one builder who made a bunch of these houses and sold them all off so exactly the same so this is like something you were to find in the states you know everything exactly the same what do y'all what do y'all think y'all i've taken y'all in different neighborhoods and especially in this neighborhood and i showed y'all the more traditional where like more houses and i showed y'all where the house the buildings are being built and now i'm showing y'all these exact uniform houses what do you guys prefer what do y'all like very interesting i love how just in three different blocks like three different streets you get totally different atmospheres like different uh architecture and everything that's <laughs> so funny <laughs> welcome to colombia you know that's the beautiful thing that's what i love about this this country Hola, ¿cómo estás? that's what i love about this country because you never know what you're gonna find around the corner you know you just go for a stroll around the neighborhood and the mango tree you go for a stroll around the neighborhood and you're just surprised by everything and also not only like the different structures oh this dog is killing me let's go come on dog why can't you be chill like this cat look at this the cat's chill and this dog's freaking out <laughs> oh. i just hope that door doesn't open then it's my last video huh if a dog ever comes to attack you guys if if you're ever attacked by a dog the last thing you want to do is run you never run from a dog you stand your ground you make yourself big and uh you don't move that's how you that's what happens when, when a dog attacks you don't move or you fake like you're about to grab something like a rock or you actually grab a rock and you pelt them in the head you know <laughs> that's what you do i grew up in the country in texas and there's a lot of stray dogs loose in that area so i used to train i used to run long distance and i used to go training around the neighborhoods around the streets and everything and then as i'm running these dogs come out of the woods and chase me so not chase me but try to chase me so i would just stand my ground pick up a rock if they come too close i pelt them in the head never got bit and i'm talking when i'm talking dogs i'm talking about like a pack of so like six to twelve dogs coming out of nowhere <laughs> you know Oh my god, it's raining. It's about to rain. It's about to rain. Check out the uh, the cloud up there. Yeah, I wonder if this is an everyday thing. If I next, if I see somebody I can talk to, I'm going to ask them that question. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling y'all, I'm actually really liking this area. So we're coming back to away from the buildings, like the new... They must have bought up all those old houses over there in that section we just walked in and made all into new buildings. But here's the older houses. I'm liking this area, guys. Let's see how much I can see before it starts raining. Nice park over here, now the dog park. Medellin, or this area, Medellin and Vigado, everything, really loves dogs. Like, this is a dog city. When I first came here, got the... When I first came to Medellin, that's what, one thing I noticed was they love dogs, man. And I love dogs, so I was like, great, this is awesome. Awesome, awesome. So you dog lovers over there, if you're asking, hey, would, would it be okay if I bring my dogs over here? Would they be fine? The answer is yes. They'll fit in very well. Here's the church. Oh my Lord, please don't rain. I started late today. I'm gonna have to come back and finish this video another day, we'll see. So again, tell me in the comments, do you guys like this style? It's where I'm just walking and showing and I'm talking in the background. I really want to know. Carrera 40 with Calle 40 DD South or Sur. Huh. A lot of green, guys. Man, it's becoming very overcast and it's going to storm real bad. 
I'm gonna do as much as I can of his neighborhood and then call it quits. I didn't get to La Paz. We'll see, we'll see how long this, this rain lasts and if I continue or not. So it's raining again guys and what you gotta do is find shelter and just wait it out until it's done. So it should be done in a moment now and then we'll continue. All right guys, it stopped raining very shortly. So we're at Carrera 39A with KA 40D South. That's where we're located right now. I waited maybe like uh, 15, 20 minutes for the rain to stop. And now we're back to walking. And it looks like the sun's coming out, so it's good. But I asked my friend who lives here in Vigal if it rains every day, and she said, yeah, pretty much every day. So that's one. It could be a negative or it could be a positive. This depends on what you want to look at it. I guess the positive is that's why there's so much green here, so much vegetation, very lush. Negative is you're either going to have to carry an umbrella with you all the time or always stop and get shelter. But what it seems like, it doesn't rain that long. So the, view, the cool thing about getting shelter is you getting shelter with other people and uh, you get to meet your neighbors, you know, strike up a conversation, practice your Spanish, <laughs> make friends with the owners, you know, so it's that's a good thing. All these stores, when I, all these stores have uh, have roofs right there. So they do, I think it's, they do that on purpose knowing it's going to rain one time. People need to seek shelter and usually people will buy usually people will buy um something to drink or something to eat while they're getting shelter i like these little houses here so it's like a little business empanadas but i like these houses super nice yeah what nice again people look at me crazy who is this dude filming my neighborhood and why they just gotta understand i'm, I'm promoting colombia i'm promoting medellin i'm showing the different sides of of the city that other people don't show and I think you guys like how I do it with my commentary I mean you guys already told me before those things that just come out of my just come out of my brain I just talk you know no plans no scripts just basically you guys are coming for a walk with David with me you're coming for a walk with me around the neighborhood and we're having a chat I'm having a one-way conversation <laughs> That's what it is. I'm having a one-way conversation with, with you guys. I kind of wish. Uh, who knows? Maybe in the future YouTube will come out with something. Who knows? Maybe like, what, 10, 15 years from now or five years? YouTube or technology will advance to where I'm walking and talking. And then you guys can speak through the speaker. And I can hear you all talk to me as well. That would be freaking amazing if that happened. If, like, for example each person had a turn to speak and ask me a question or, or have a conversation with me while I'm walking. That would be freaking awesome, man. I know I know, I can go live and read the question. I know some, some YouTubers do that where they go live and they read the questions, but reading the questions is hard. I'd rather listen to y'all. So it looks like here. All right, nice. And enclose the neighborhood over here. Vies de Mediterran... Mediterraneo. Hmm. So if you want even more security, then here's an option. You got enclosed, gated community over here. I guarantee there's a lot of foreigners living here. Who knows? I'm just guessing. I have no idea. I'm just guessing. I'm just assuming. Again, another option of very uniform houses like back in the States. Everything the same. Got a little townhouses here. It's nice. Okay, that's the Parque Heliodora. Heliodora Parque. And this is not the entrance way. So I have no idea how to get in there, but I want to go there one day. I want to make another video of me going to this park and walking around. For sure. For sure. nice little park i never knew that was here and look it has like a nice incline you run it, it has a good incline it's a great place to work out man oh and it has trails there oh man i gotta get back to that park one day i love parks man all right so we got parque mediterraneo 
That's the name of the place with the high rise buildings. Huh. So guys, it's almost five o'clock. I'm not 100% sure. Actually, I am 100% sure. I can't do La Paz today. So this is basically this video is all about El Dorado neighborhood. Okay. I'm hoping you're liking it. I might meet with one of my friends in a moment. I'm not sure if she's able to or not. But I'll make another video and that was a separate video. She's a she's a singer and a model here in Colombia. She sings, I've heard her sing. She's a beautiful voice, super cool girl, model, so obviously she's beautiful. And I want to meet up with her and do an interview with her. You know, I think it'll be kind of fun because it'll be my first uh well not really my first my first Colombian Colombiana interview. I think. I'm not sure. So that will be a different video in the future. There's more of the park. A different video in the future. So if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, you don't want to miss that. Go ahead and subscribe. And I'm seeing that this goes on and on. And I don't see any other neighborhoods. So instead of me continuing to walk and kill myself. Ah, there's the entrance. La entrada for the, neighbor, for the park. So I was in the right direction. This is the road you walk down to get to the park. Bienvenidos La Heliodora. And I have, it's probably, I'm not even sure if it's even open right now because there's nobody inside walking around. And right now in this time that we're going through, most parks are closed. So I'm pretty sure that's closed right now. So in the future, when we're back to normal times, I'll come back, do a walk around this uh, park and check it out. It's about to rain. So I'm gonna shut this video down. We're done with this one. You guys are freaking awesome. I appreciate you guys. Like I said, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Because more great content will come content will come in the future. You I'm messing up my words. So see y'all next time. Take care. Guys, so I just actually was talking to this guy right here that is a Masamora. We were both under shelter for a moment. And I asked him, I said, uh, you know, how long what how what at what time does he start until what time he ends? And uh, he said from seven o'clock in the morning to about six in the afternoon. And it walks about in between 30 to 50 kilometers a day. And he's been doing it, <laughs> he's been doing it for uh, 10 years. I think he said 10 years now. Been doing it for 10 years. I didn't ask him how old he was, but he looks like he's probably late 50s, 60s or so. But uh, really nice guy. Actually, let me ask my old ears real quick. Estoy contando a mis amigos. ¿Cuántos años tiene usted? Yo tengo 48. 48 años. Ah, ah okay, okay. Más amor real. Llevas 10 años haciendo este. Ah. Sí, bueno. ¿Y cómo te llamas? Herman. Herman. Mucho gusto, Herman. Sí. Cuídense. Ah, yo, David. David. Sí. Suerte. Más amor real. So, Herman. 48 years old, man. He's been doing it for, I don't know, 10 years or so. 50 to 60 kilometers. He looks older than 40 something. He looks like he's in his 60s. So that just shows this hard work right here, man. Puts age on you. Puts age on you, man. But uh, when we were waiting underneath the um, shelter, he was smoking a, 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 you know what I'm talking about. He was smoking one of those things. And I asked him, I said, does that give, does that give you energy? He's like, yeah, man walking all day i stop i smoke a little bit gives me more more energy more you know the desire to keep going so i say that's cool man good for you good for you so super cool guy herman if you guys if you guys living in vigado and you see him walk around the streets go ahead and buy some masamora from him uh he's a really upstanding guy i have i didn't try his product i don't know if it's good or not but i like him he's a nice guy so y'all if you see him walking around if you see him walking around, buy some Masamoto from him and tell him that you saw him on my video with David, yeah? Take care. See you later.